Hi, fishy folks, and happy Water Change Wednesday. Guys, today, an epic unboxing of unbelievable proportions, or just something kind of plain and ordinary, but cool. So, do me a favor, grab a snack and a beverage. Of course, in the comments below, let me know what that is. And uh, let's get started. Check out King and Queen Cichlids on YouTube. Link in this general area. Uh, Scott's new video is a sister video to my fish store tour of exotic fish and pets and uh, you should go check it out and see the differences between what Scott likes and what I like and our different um, techniques and stuff. Before I show you what's in this box I do want you to uh, go ahead and obliterate that subscription button just annihilate it. Go ahead and gently caress and boop the notification bell and when we're done, you can check out michaelsfishroom.com where I breed and where I sell the plecos and guppies I breed for profit in this very here fish room. Um, speaking of plecos, we all know uh, I have plecos for sale on the website. And I recently got a pair, a breeding pair of uh, super red bristle nose plecos. And in said breeding tank, I had two caves and some driftwood and a lot of uh, mom and, and java moss because there's baby guppies in there too. And I decided I wanted more caves for them. And we all know I had an issue with the Plucko Cave guy from uh, uh, the Keystone Clash. Um, and I wanted to source another, another um, place to buy them. And so on the Facebook group, Aquatic Flea Market Auctions and Giveaways, which is uh, Robin and Tracy's, um, sorry, Robin and Trisha's um, group on Facebook. It's fantastic, by the way. One of the sponsors, Jim from Pleco Caves and Accessories. We've talked a couple times. I've made him some offers on some Plecos. You know, I'm always looking to buy stuff cheap to, you know, at wholesale to sell, but he does the same thing. He sells Plecos and Pleco caves and accessories. And anyway, long story short, I want to support one of the sponsors of Aquatic Flea Market Auctions and Giveaways. And Jim's one of the sponsors. So I reached out to him and said, Jim, I have these super red bristle nose Plecos, a breeding pair. They've bred for the previous owner. Now I want to breed them. What caves should I buy? And he's like, well, how much do you want to spend? I'm like, you tell me what caves I want, I'll pay you for them. So he put a package together, we made the deal, and he shipped it to me, and here it is today. So let's open it. Let's see what's inside, right? Um, one thing about this box, which I've never seen before, uh, there's like a little slit cut in it, and it says, do not block hole. So I'm guessing that's for a heat pack. Heat pack. Now, here's the heat pack and it's still warm. Oh, feels nice, still warm. 72 hour heat pack. He shipped it on Saturday, so Saturday, Sunday, Monday. It's Monday evening. And uh, nice styrofoam lined box with uh, the silver, which helps uh, the heat. And right on top is a breather bag with a super red bristle nose pleco in it. Now, breather bags, you can't float. So I'm gonna put him off to the side. It's a cordon bleeder, breather, bleeder bag. It's a cordon breather bag. I'm gonna put him off to the side and then we'll plop and drop when we're done. And uh, Jim also sells his own Pleco food. So I asked for a bag and uh, he said there was enough room in the box for a bag. So he just gave me a sample. So I'll be trying that tonight actually. And then in this box, very well packed. Ooh. Pleco cave, triangle shaped with the back that comes off, which is nice. Triangle in Japanese, just so you know, sankap. Practicing my Japanese, looking forward to the Japanese. Let's see, maybe I have that on. There we go. Looks like there's one more in here. I didn't. I don't really know what I'm getting. I just said, give me what's best. And so we have the triangle shaped one, and then the round one with the pinched box. And that's it. Put that box off to the side. All right, fishy folks. I'm gonna sort of clean up, get the pleco caves in the tank. Maybe uh, show you feeding some pleco food. 
and uh, see that super red bristle nose pleco. I had to message him actually. So I have some some babies that are this size to raise up, but uh, I gotta see if I should put him in with the the parents or what does he think? Because I'm sure he sent it to me for a reason, not just to sell. Because that wouldn't be cool. So, all right, guys, stand by. All right, fishy folks. Hopefully the fan isn't too loud for you. There's the female super red bristle nose pleco, and there's a cave that I already had in the tank, and the male is in there hopefully fanning some eggs. You can see uh, one of the new caves I got back there, and then all the way on the other side is another pleco cave. It's my understanding, and I am no expert yet, that plecos like options, so I put the caves in different spots, different ways. There's a little super red bristle nose that, uh, that Jim sent me as well. So we'll see how this goes. There are some uh, Dumbo Rainbow Dragon Mosaic Guppy Fry in here. Um, I also just saw, I don't know if you, these little fry are gonna show up. There's uh, about 20 really small babies of these um, Japanese blue guppies that I got from a customer that I sent them to Puerto Rico and he wanted to practice shipping, so he sent them to me. This is also the Super Red Bristle Nose Grow Out Tank. Uh, if you guys are interested in these, I've said it before, and I'm gonna say it again. Once I get them in stock, I put them on the website. They're not on back order. They sell out pretty much that week. There's probably 20 in here. 10 of them are already sold. If you want Super Red Bristle Nose Plecos, I suggest you order them now so that I don't run out if you want them. I won't ship at least until probably uh, after Christmas, after the new year, but to be honest, it's gonna be weather dependent. So there's a little tiny baby. I don't know if you can see him, but yeah. All right, fishy folks, let's check out this. Let's check out this, uh, this food here. I'm gonna try to do this one-handed. So uh, it kinda looks like Ferret food. <laughs> I'm sure it isn't. At least I hope it isn't. So here's some albino bristlenose plecos. Uh, these are big breeding size, although I haven't gotten any babies out of them. I don't know if uh, I have some sleepers in there, but yeah, they probably won't come eat because I'm here and it's light out. But in here we have the crebenzas, which I'm holding to ship when it gets gets warmer, and the calicos. There's a lot of caves, and I realize how many caves are in here. Um, here we have some more calicos, some grots. I don't know if we can see them. They're kind of just hiding. Let's see what else. Let me grab some more food. And uh, the, the lemon blue eyes always seem to eat. This water is a little cloudy because I overfed the crap out of it this morning and all the all the green beans are gone got some food in there we scared that female off a little bit she's looking good we'll see if they come and eat you know this is the tank i thought for sure look that one's coming to eat already this is the tank i i show i thought for sure i'd have more babies um but i don't don't know why so we'll see I'm checking it out Yum, yum, yum. Already eaten. It's good stuff, folks. All right, guys. That's it for the epic unboxing. Hope you enjoyed it. And as always, I will leave you with a shot of Chewy's cock. Fishy folks and happy water change Wednesday to you guys before we get started you know the drill obliterate the notification bell just annihilate it gently boop, the subscription bell did I say notification bell subscription bell subscription button I gotta I gotta start over hi fishy folks and happy water change Wednesday guys before we get started you know the drill you know how I did roll what is that, is that? And I had to, um, I'm just, I'm trying to get my phone on so I can talk about something here. And that sucks. I'm such an idiot. <laughs>